7.30 a.m.? Boy, overachiever? Actually, he has to get there by 9, huh? I guess he needed extra time. Morning. My new job starts today. All right. Suppose I should be concerned, too. That is the last thing we wrote down, but it's very unimportant because we got more important shit to do. Like, ask about mad angels and whatever. And do real good at my forklift job. See, now it fast travels me to the harbor by 8.30. So that's pretty sweet. I like that. Oh, snap. It's time, y'all. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Time for a daily warm-up race. You all do your best now. Yeah. He said new job. Like always, three laps to the finish. Everybody ready? And don't go wrecking the fort lifts or the formula have your ass. Yeah. yeah. On your mark. Forklift races. Let's go. Are we really racing and not knowing how this even works? This is awesome. Ready? Go! Go! Do 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 <laughs> Shit, get out of my way, you dick. Got that Mario Kart music. Hell yeah, cut that bitch off around that corner. Mm hmm. I got two more laps to take that first place spot. Nah, dude, that was Rainbow Ride. Or Rainbow, yeah, no, Rainbow Road music. Rainbow Ride. Rainbow. Dude, get the fuck out of my way, sir. I got a first place to catch. All right, in one lap, we made it up to second place, but I got to get around number two. Uh, oh, he tried to fucking cut me off. You see that shit? He played dirty. He tried to play for keeps. Oh, we should be doing chocobo race music. There we go. All right, fine. All right, first place. I'm on your ass. Oh, shit. No, I was like, I hesitated. I, I had the hezzy and I fucked up. Okay, I got one lap to catch this fucker. Here we go. <sighs> Chocobo race music fucked me up. Wish I could remember some other Mario Kart music off the top of my head besides Rainbow Ride or Road. But I can't think of anything off the top of my head. We need to play some Mario Kart on this channel. At some point. I like Mario Kart. We play Super Mario Kart, but I'm terrible at Super Mario Kart. We need to play Mario Karts I grew up with that I actually like and know. And I'm better at. Which is all of them except for the Super Mario Kart. <laughs> which I'm terrible at. Alright, this is my chance. To do that dance at the Space Jam. Alright. Wave your hands in the air if you're gonna win. Took first place at the last second. Hell yeah. Finish. Killed it. Clutch victory. Victory music, baby. First place prize is... Thanks. What the fuck? I don't want your stinking forklift. I want some money, bitch. I thought he was gonna give me money. Hope you work as well as you race. Well then, here's your toy for winning, motherfucker. From today, welcome. I'll do my best. Time to get to work. Move these crates with the forklift. Where do I take them? Warehouse number 18. Here's the route map. The quota's written on the map. Read it carefully. Quota 10 crates. Quota, 
You'll get a raise. Great. Just be sure you don't break anything. Okay? All right. Don't break nothing. Get 10 crates. You got it. So crates indeed. Here we go. What? Hello? Oh, I wasn't in all the way. My bad. Oh, shit. Uh, uh. Where am I at right now? Am I... Do I have a map? Wait, map. Map. Ah. Uh. Map is X. Okay, here's map. I'm... What the fuck? Why would you hold it upside down? Because we're here, I guess? Anyway, we want to go to the left and then turn, hang a right. You got it. So go over here. Shit. Oh my god, that box is not lined up. Ah! Uh, it's probably through here? I guess? That crate doesn't belong here. Oh, fuck your face. I'm already lost. There it is. ATs are here. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? There's a fucking cat in the way? Get the fuck out of the way, kitty! Oh my god, this cat. The cat ruined everything, dude. Fucking cat. Alright. What? Oh no. I don't like that it stops in mid mid um thing. You know what? Does it have to be in the lines or does it does it matter? I wonder. Like, does it have to be directly in between the lines? I hope not. I'm just gonna try and do as many crates over there as I can. Fuck the lining them up. Nope, wrong way. Move bitch. Here we go. Once I got this route down, I got this. Easy peasy, y'all. These controls are actually rather pretty fluid overall. I'm actually kind of in surprise because I'm terrible at driving games back from like back in these time periods. But this feels actually pretty easily controllable, to be fair. What the fuck? Why won't it let me... I'm just trying to make it so I can actually fit more in here. Alright, back we go. Make it happen, Captain. Two down. Eight to go. Just got to exceed my quota, right? That's all I got to do. Got to put them in the warehouse. Yeah, yeah, I know. I didn't mean to click that. It was an accident. Let's see, wait. It's 11 o'clock? I have until... Well, there's going to be a lunch... Lunch bell at... These go inside the lines, eh? There's going to be a lunch bell at noon, right? And then we have until 5 p.m. to finish. So if I can get at least halfway by noon, which I should do, I should be more than there. I already did three. <laughs> Hope everybody's excited for the forklift simulator because that's what we're doing for basically the rest. Of the, well, there's going to be some more fighting, but this is the rest of today's stream for sure. Watch out, fucker. It'd be nice to succeed at this first try on the first day. Because even though you get paid, you have to. I think you have to make your quota and get a raise and all that, I think, to actually make progress. I actually don't know that for a fact. But it'd be nice to get more money out of this. Becoming a pro! If there's anything that gets me good at something, and I mean this actually not just in forklifts and lifting boxes, it's repetition. I'm pretty good when you give me warehouse. when you give me the opportunity to do something over and over again. I will get good at it. It's generally how I work. I keep forgetting I want to grab the one on the ground level. I wonder if you can actually break stuff. Because he said don't break anything, but I don't really know if that's even a possibility. Dude, I'm going to get tent done by noon.
Yo, thank you for the follow, Crazy Leopard. Appreciate it. And welcome if you're here. What are your qualifications? Um, I played Shenmue, thank you. Oh, you don't even need a forklift license if you've played Shenmue. We already know that you're a pro fucking forklift gamer. Perfect in the lines. You see that shit? Read between the lines. You're gonna watch Bitcher Bitcher. You're gonna watch the Bitcher? The Witcher before you stream FML? How many episodes have you watched so far? Curious. The Bitcher. Toss a coin to your bitcher. He won't stop it. No, he won't stop it. He's a hum. The Bitcher. It'd be a much different um, story if it was called The Bitcher. You just finished the fourth one? Okay. Cool, cool. I really hope it doesn't matter if I actually line them up perfectly, because I have not been lining them up perfectly. I really don't give a fuck. If it does matter, like they say something, then I'll, I'll try better to actually line them up next time. forget how many have I already, how many have already moved have I moved 10 yet I'm close I think I'm at like at least eight six yep that was eight so I'm at nine and then one more and I'll already be at 10 and it's already about to be noon and I already got nine done dude oh you can stack them well shit that makes things easier I thought you could crappy Superman is the Witcher. Well, whatever your opinions are on him being Superman, which I think he does a good Superman regardless of what you think of the movies. Uh, he does really good as Geralt, Geralt of Rivia. Damn it, it's lunchtime. lunchtime eh? Ugh, I almost got 10 before lunchtime. I was killing it. Uh oh, you're ready for something. Hey, my lunch! You ratted us out, didn't you? Are you one of Chin's men? I don't know any Chin. Oh, oh, really? I don't know. Oh. Hey, quit lying! Yeah! Cut it out! What? Who's this twin? We're gonna teach you a lesson! Oh boy, is it fight time or is it. QTE time. It's fight time. Yes, I actually tried to pick up a stack of um, of boxes. You can only take one crate at a time, uh, DJ. So, I, I'm not being. I wasn't being dumb about only taking one crate at a time. All right, one guy down. Bitch. Oh shit. Okay. You fucking think you got this Rio action? Uh uh. Hold up. How did I do that one kick that I wanted to do? Was it four? It was back forward. No, it was forward back. Dude, stop it. Okay. Fine. You want to block everything? Fine. Wow, he's blocking all my shit. This guy's an ass. I whooped his friend's ass. Okay, we got him. Oh, remember this. Who remember this? Yeah. Thank you, Dio. Who were they? They were the mad angels. Why are the mad angels picking on you? They seem to think I'm working with one of their enemies. Somebody called Chen. But I don't know him. Master Chen and the mad angels. I know them. Well then, where are the Mad Angels? 
Maybe we should talk to Chen about the Mad Angels. I mean, he's the one that kind of told us about him in the first place. Anyway, you all right there, Mark? Mark. Hey, Theo. Yeah. How you liking work? It's okay, I suppose. Well, I expect a lot from you, Theo. Right. I'll do my best. Well, they tried really hard to make sure everybody pronounced his name very Japanese. Dio. Uh. Dio, you got any brothers or sisters? No. I don't really have a family anymore. Oh, sorry to hear that. Wow. Sad co sad conversation. Yeah, regardless of how it controls, the fighting game looks really fluid of that era, animation-wise. Almost turns into a fighting game. Yeah, it's like, it. the fighting actually isn't bad. It's a little, like... It's a little annoying because you like bounce off of people sometimes, so that can get a little bit annoying. But the controls themselves are actually pretty good. Um, you don't really know how much damage you've done to your opponent is one thing I have to complain about. There's no indicator. There's no life bar for them. Only me. I don't really understand that. But yeah, whatever. Tom. Hi, Dio. I've got something to ask you. Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? Rio? You in trouble with We already them? asked them about it. Nope. This. I'm just trying to find out about them. No man! Do not go and get mixed up with them! They're kill us! Kill us! Okay. We already had that conversation, but thanks. Alright, well, um I don't know, we have to kill two hours or one? He said it was two hour lunch, right? And it's only been since noon. It's about to be one. Is the homeless guy around here? I wonder where the homeless guy's at. I did save his ass yesterday. Homeless man, where you at? Here to save your bitch ass. Or at least I want to talk to him. I think the idea is once you've worked here for long enough, which might only be a day or two, um, that the Mad Angels will come to you. Because they did say the whole point of this to get the job was to have the Mad Angels come fuck with you because you're a newbie and they like to fuck with newbies like that was the whole point so i'm quite curious to see how much i gotta do to get that to be you know prompted it's kind of like that for most of the ui of this game right like they try pretty hard with the way you manually inspect places instead of slow showing a button prompt you should only abide your health because you feel it yeah I, I mean i get it it's just it's hard to gauge, like, especially with the fight. So, for example, the fight I had with the the skinhead guy back at the U Arcade, that was pretty tough to gauge because I didn't know if I was going to win or lose, and I had no way of knowing. So maybe I was supposed to lose that fight no matter what. I have no idea. Also, yo! Yeah. Another man. fucking winner. Chicken fucking dinner. Yes, please. Taste the victory. Taste it. Ah, good. Hell yeah. Every time. Tastes like victory. Mm -mm. Okay. We had to have our daily our daily caffeinated beverage faux show. I don't really know what else to do during this time period unless there's some other scene I can like trigger somewhere. So I'm kinda just wandering around hoping something will happen. I'm pretty sure when, when the two-hour lunch is over, it'll put me back on my forklift. One good thing is Rio runs forever. You don't have to worry about a stamina bar. Get the fuck out of my way, forklift. You can't just spawn in my face like that. Do the enemies give any indication that they're getting weaker? Uh, not that I could tell so far, Drew. Maybe. I haven't noticed, that's for sure. Fuck you, bit birds. Fuck the boys. Maybe since it's lunchtime, we should be at the cafeteria talking to people. I don't know. That actually seems like a smart idea. Yeah, they get two-hour lunch, man. It's crazy. Driving that forklift is hard work, man. Um... Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? What? Some gang that hangs around the harbor. Never heard of them. No what? idea, sorry. Yeah. Did she say no idea? Sorry. I see. You're not sorry. 
At least sounds sincere. Excuse me. Yes, what is it? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? Is that a baseball team? <laughs> no. Surely you're not talking about a gang. Surely. Um. Um, never mind. Surely. Yada san? Hey, kid. Ryo, isn't it? Yeah. Are you getting used to the work? Well, I'm getting there. Okay. Keep up the good work. How do you know it's good work? I've only been here a day, man. Only been here un dia. All right, get ready to go back to work. Beep, beep, motherfucker. It's already this late. Back to work, motherfucker. Warehouse number 18. Okay. Okay. All right. What? Oh, I was not all the way underneath. All right. This should be. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. 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 Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're good. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Mm -hmm. We're going to definitely beat our quota, which is good. Already on the way to the top. Already the best forklift driver you done ever did see. I like that they left the crates exactly as I left them. They didn't line them up for me. I, really, I see they released Shinmu 3 in 2019. I guess that's why I heard of this for some reason. What, this, you mean the series, DJ? Yeah, the whole point is this, this the reason I'm even playing this at all, to be fair, um, is because they re-released one and two because they announced that three was going to get made and they did a Kickstarter for it to see the crowdfunding to see if people actually wanted it. Like, that was kind of the whole idea. They wanted to see if fans actually wanted the game. And it fucking made the most money ever out of a Kickstarter, like, immediately. Come on, I just want to line this up. There we go. Dude, line it up. What the hell? Let me drop it! Yeah, It's not letting me drop it. Getting annoyed. Hell yeah, let's go. It was a running joke if Shenmue 3 would ever get released. Yeah, it was, because it definitely was in development for a long time. But they did release 1 and 2, so that gave me faith that 3 would actually happen, whether it ended up being good or not. I don't think I heard much good about it, so... But then again, looking back, playing this game, there's not a lot that's, like, amazing about this game either. And games have come a long way since Shenmue 1 and 2. Like, Yakuza is a good example. So it's almost like if you're going to continue Shenmue, at least make it better. We don't need it to be the same jankiness that it used to be. But, alas, here we are. All right, hold up. All right, so here's my plan. Oh shit, my forklift's not even down. I'm an idiot. I thought my forklift was all the way down. I'm a dumb. I'm over here trying to pick up a box and my forklift ain't even in the right place. So here's my plan. I gotta fix gotta this. These in the lines. Oh, you can't just rearrange. I wanna rearrange it. You know, if it lets me set it down, I suppose that counts. I don't know. The end of the trilogy has him becoming a truck driver. That would be pretty epic sauce, I'm not gonna lie. From now on, now that I know you can stack them on top of each other so easily, I will always stack two before I put another one down. That will be my new rule. I didn't realize how easy it was to actually stack two on the ground like that, or stack two on top of each other like that. Now that I know, next day we're going to kill it. We going to kill it. Oh shit, what's happening? Oh. Hey boy. You working hard, eh? Oh. What? You ain't paid your 
insurance. That ain't right. Law of the Harbor dictates all rookies gotta pay insurance. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? What insurance? I said pay up, boy, right now. You guys mad angels? Defiance ain't a good idea. You don't pay up, boy. I'm gonna kick your ass. No way. No way. You are gonna regret that decision. Am I? Are we gonna throw down right now? Let's get him! Oh, we're throwing down right now. Here we go. Nah, me, nah, I'm saying, not what I'm talking about. Bitch. Who get it. Who get it. Get it. Oh, dude, I fucked that one guy up hella bad. Get fucked. This move kind of kicks some candy ass. Damn, I whooped their ass. Get some fucked. Get some fucked. All right, you guys. <laughs> Does it make any sense? No. Uh, hey, wait. Wait. All right, back to work. <laughs> wow, that's funny. Oh, I gotta love it. I definitely whooped their collective ass like it was nothing. Too easy. I really did whoop their ass. That was nice. The guys I fought at the lunchtime fight were way more annoying. They were, like, blocking everything. Those guys didn't do shit. I was just bopping them with the fucking push move or whatever. I don't even remember what the fucking move is called, but I like that move. The double hand push technique kicks ass. They interrupted my work. My quota could have been doubled if they didn't fuck me up. Although I don't know if I have enough space for 20 boxes. But hey. A man can dream. Honestly, if I had this lined up better... I had this lined up better, which I don't, obviously. There's probably no point in me doing this, to be honest, but I'm doing it anyways. Because I know there's one more box back here that I didn't stack up. But I'll do it anyways. Killing it, though. Killing it. Because I have to go till 5. It's not even 4 yet. I still have another hour to go. So I better just make as much space as I can. I'm, not, I'm definitely not going to... Oh, shit. I'm going to go back up. just want to make sure I can fit as many as I have time for. And then the next day, I'll try to line it up better so I can actually fit everything. So I think the idea is they give you enough space to put every box if you stack them all twice. But if you don't line it up right, you won't have enough space. Because I only have enough space to really put, like, four more down. And actually, now that I understand how the forklift goes up and down better, I think I can line it up even better than I have been before. I think lining it up is just a matter of not being an idiot. Why am I singing this? I really don't know. I am ridiculous. Let me drop this shit, boy. What? I want to let me drop it. Hello? There's no box on top of there. Hello? Uh, there it goes. Jesus. That was very finicky. I just mashed the A button until it let me drop it. Move out of my way, BZ. <sighs> it was already in the right spot. What are you doing? I keep not paying attention to where the actual fork is at. I'm 
definitely going to get two more stacked up. I don't know if I have enough space for another one with the way I have things, though. That's the only problem right now. Mildly annoys you that he doesn't carry it low for that center of gravity. That is weird that they carry it high. I do kind of have to agree with that. That is a little weird. But I think the idea actually, Rio, or Rio, is actually DJ that so he can actually see where he's going. You know? Because if the, if the crate is low, he can't see. Anyway, I'm fucking out of space. But you know what? Fuck it. Let's go try and get another box. Like, how am I supposed to not run over cats if I have it low all the time? I actually am going to get these boxes. I'm actually going to get these last two. It's going to happen. 15 in-game minutes. I got plenty of time. Easy peasy. I'm gonna actually going to move all the boxes. It may not be lined up perfect, but if I get the full fucking credit for it, I'm going to be pretty, pretty happy about it. How many boxes was this total? Like 20? I think I did 20 boxes, huh? It's definitely gotta be close. Done. I ain't got shit left to do. We clear. I reached the goal. No, fuck your goal. Double that shit. You got a quota? I got double your quota. Now we could do donuts for 10 minutes while we wait. It's easy to do donuts reverse in a forklift. Not as easy to go forward, but backward because of the way the wheels turn. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, you're getting dizzy. Or I'll stop. <laughs> Finished for the day. That's how we celebrate. Okay, good job. Here's today's pay. 20 times 3 should be what? 6K six, six yen? Thanks. You met quota, son. So starting tomorrow, you'll get oh, 50 yen fuck. and 50 That'll yen a piece. Yen per crate. Mm. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Hell yeah. Yes, thank you very much. Arigato gozaimashita. Oh god, you know what music this is. You said you knew a lot about the harbor. Right on, my man. From the perfect mugging locale to the best spot to take a leak. This here harbor, Goro knows it all. So you know about the Mad Angels. Oh, uh, I... Speaking of taking a leak... Not so fast. Oh, man. Must have had me a bad ache this morning. Gotta hit the can, my man. Oh, I can make it in time. Oh. So you know about them. Bro, that name. Please don't say it so loud. Why not? You get yourself fed to the fishes for talking about them, man. It's taboo around here. There's a rumor about some loudmouth kid who got himself concrete boots for talking. No way. No way. Well, bro, I'm out of here. See you around. Yeah, later. Goze Mashta is actually past tense for thank you. Oh, well, whatever. I was just saying it because it's Japanese and I said it. I don't know. Oh, shit. More scenes. Hold on. Oh, 
Oh shit. It's this guy. What's up, homeboy? Cuisin. You never know when to give up, do you? What do you want? I'm here to teach you a new move. <laughs> a new move. Well, that'll be real helpful. You couldn't even handle the mad angels. Much less take on Landy. Shut up. Look, I don't need your help. I don't need your help, hey, Dad. Fine by me. But it's wise to accept the goodwill of others. So, what will it be? You are mine or not? Yeah, yeah, we'll learn your new move. Let's do it. Well, if you're so eager to teach me, okay. You could be more appreciative. First, I'll show you the form. Watch. One step back, shift your weight. While backing up, kick. This is called a swallow dive. Now you try it. Is it back, back, kick? Is that what he just basically said? Back, back, kick? That's good enough. Now, while backing up, kick. Oh, so try just, it. It's just back, kick? Kicks way too late. Kicks way too late? Oh, there you go. About what's expected the first time. I've got it now. But your technique is still off. Now I'll teach you how to utilize the swallow die. Oh shit, he's got multiple moves. The okay. Once you draw back, you invite your enemy in. And that's when you counterattack? That's right. I'll demonstrate it thoroughly. Well, you want to practice more? More? Sure. Yeah, please. I'll watch, so give it a try. I think I got it down. I think that's enough. It's pretty Still good. Want to continue? It's pretty good. No, that's enough. Keep in mind, you've only learned the basic form. To properly utilize this move, you'll need to practice. Yes. And apply diligent training. I see. Leg move swallow dive has been mastered. All right. Sounds good. Why teach me that move? You're intent on going to Hong Kong, right? Yeah. Even knowing that you may die? No matter what. So I thought. If I were you, I'd do the same. That's why. I mean, he did tell you that. What if it was your father? Well, okay then. We learned a new move. Still no notebook info out of all that, huh? Okay. Whatever. Anyway, we are balling now with all this money we make in. Hell yeah, Drew, for show. Also, I was going to read DJ's comment there about reverse donuts. Is that the one where the hole is on the outside? Um, yes. Yes, it is. Reverse donuts. Coming to a Dunkin' Donuts near you. And if you don't have a Dunkin' Donuts near you, then I guess reverse donuts are not in your future. Unless you learn how to make them yourself, and then you're good. Okay. Man, how much longer am I going to go for today? I feel like I've been streaming for a long time. Oh, more scenes. Hold on. It's the homeless man. <laughs> Been waiting for you. It's you. What are you doing here? Wanna pay you back for helping me out. Teach you something useful. Another new move? Suppose I show you rather than tell you. 
Let's see you try and punch me. Try and punch me. Me? Punch you? Quit your babbling and punch. You call that a punch? That'll be the famous Hazuki style. How do you know the Hazuki style? If you really want to know, give me your best shot. Gonna give me some drunken master shit right now? Okay, then. Here we go. Are we fighting the old man, like, legit right now? Ooh, giving him the shaky bag. Why am I missing? Because you suck. <laughs> this was a real fight. I just crushed your throat. How did you do that? There's more to mastery than offense. Evasion without getting hit is an art in itself. My sensei used to call this move the Shadow Step. Shadow Step? So, how about it, son? Wanna learn it? Fuck yeah! Why would we say no? Yes, please teach me. First off, Show me that their basic Hazuki style stance. All right. Hmm. That ain't too bad. Now come and do what I do. We'll see a step forward. Pull your arms in a slide real quick. Once you slide up behind, cut a blow to the neck like so. Now, start from your basic stance. So what is it? Back, forward? Or forward, back, rather? I don't Move even know. Move your weight forward one step only. Okay. My sensei called this move the shake and bake. First you shake him, and then you bake him. Something like that. As you step forward, get ready to dodge and throw. Now, your turn. Dodge and throw? Your movement is not good enough. How do I throw? At the same time you dodge, you gotta throw. Like that. Okay. Okay. Shake them while you bake them. Mm, right nice. Right nice. You're a quick study. Thank you very much. Got that touch you do. How about a bit more practice? Sure. I'll do it a few more times. It's pretty It's pretty easy. Most of the moves in this game are okay, just sort of sure. like... Why not? Backs and forwards, and then I'm the combinations of moves. Go on and show me. But I could probably utilize this. All right. Yup. 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 Hmm. That enough for you? Wanna keep going? I got it. No, I think I'm all right. Thank you for the instruction. Well, don't go forgetting to practice every day. We ain't got time for this practice bullshit. Perhaps we'll meet again. Perhaps. Please wait. How do you know about the Hazuki style? The Hazuki name's known amongst martial artists. The style of Iwao Hazuki is revered by many, including me. Quite popular in spite of being so young, he was. My father? My if you father? Knew move, why not use it that day? Mm. No sense in fighting. Sometimes uh, a clean getaway is also victory. <laughs> Ever need practice in the day? Try warehouse number four. Oh. Sometimes I'll be there myself. Okay, we can go practice be in sure warehouse four. Daily. That's good to know. I I knew there was a place to practice at the warehouse. I just forgot where it was at. Like at the harbor, rather. I was wondering if it was a warehouse or if it was like one of these empty lots. It's cool. 
probably won't even bother to practice. I haven't really practiced much unless I was just bored and needed to pass time. But we learned the throw move, Shadow Step. Okay. Cool. Alright. Now it's officially nighttime. Alright. 7 p.m. Do you know where your children are? And yeah, basically all the moves in this game, Drew, are like fighting game combos. I mean, there's like... It's like there's a kick button, a punch button, a throw button, and a sh like a shake button, dodge button, and you just you have to press combination with that with forwards and backs, and that's pretty much all the combos in this game. It's just some of them won't let you use like some moves aren't usable unless you unlock them. That's all. Like my forward throw move probably wasn't unlocked till now. Um. Well, it's already nighttime. What do I do? Do I just go home? I mean, I guess I could look around for something else to do. I don't really know what else... Like, what else there could be to do here. We're not really... Are we still asking about the same fucking... Same exact questions as yesterday? Let's see. Excuse me. What's that? Do you know anything about the Mad Angels? The Mad Angels? You shouldn't get yourself in. You can okay. get her. I see. He's saying the same stuff. I see. So I think I'll I'll go one more day today on this game, and then we'll probably call it a night on the stream. I think I got one more day of this game in me. And if we're as far into this game as I think we are, we might be almost done with it. I don't think we're going to finish it tonight, obviously. But maybe next time we play this, we could finish the game, possibly. I'd be down. I feel like I'm getting through the whole main game pretty efficiently. I don't recall there being much more, like, story-wise, other than figuring out this Mad Angel situation and then finding a boat to Hong Kong. And, then like, that's, like, the main story bits left that I can remember. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there's a whole other thing. But I don't think there is. I remember the forklift thing kind of being the big roadblock at the end of the game if you weren't really good at the fork forklift driving. Which, to be fair, on a Dreamcast controller is a fucking nightmare. Hurry up, bus. I don't want to talk to this guy right now. <sighs> Boy, you better stop yawning. Gotta wait till it's on the hour. It's about to be 9 o'clock already, though. The thing is, I don't think it makes me go home till 11.30. So I could sit around for two and a half hours waiting, or I could walk home, which will take way less time. Come on. Nine o'clock on the dot, baby. I should go home. I am going home. I should go home. Take me home. Anyway, we made some pretty good bank for one day of work. Man, remember when I was down to like 6K? I literally just doubled my money plus some from that, day's of, that day of work. That was pretty good. You know what that means. You're gonna give me all this money. You know what that means. It's Santa fucking Claus. What? Excuse me. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, hello there. How about throwing your New Year's party at the Bar Linda? Uh, you're too young to drink. Sorry, kid. It's okay. It's not okay. I want to party with Santa. I'm following him, dude. Fuck this. Dude, priorities. Priorities right now, dog. Fucking Santa just shows up. Is it Christmas Day right now? What day was it? I wasn't paying attention to the, the actual day on the fucking clock. It's the 15th. Yeah, it's not. It's still 10 days till Christmas. Okay. I was about to say. Shit, Tom's here, though. We should talk to Tom. Yo, Tom, what up? Hey. Hey, Rio! 
No matter what life throws at you, man, keep that smile. Sure. <laughs> sure. All right. Too bad Santa won't stop and break it down with us. I'm guessing he's going to Cafe Linda. And yes, I'm following Santa all the way, dude. Excuse me. No. Oh, MJQ Jazz. Uh, it's okay. Hmm. He's, I mean, he advertised two different bars, so interesting. I just want to see where he stops. I gotta know. I gotta know. I wonder if he does something debaucherous. The mysteries of being Santa Claus in Japan. I'm not good enough to party with Santa. Don't say that, Drew. You make me feel bad. What the fuck are you still doing here, Nozomi? Nozomi. Ryo. You know, I heard from Hisaka-san that the harbor is a real dangerous place. That's not true. I heard you got That's into a not fight true. There. I'm fine. I've only been attacked like so, four times. Yeah. That's less than five. Don't lose Santa now. Gotta keep tailing the fucking big guy. What's up, drunk dude? Um, I'm sorry, but I'm busy today. <laughs> I'm in Ask someone incredibly drunk. Too bad they don't do a drunk voice. That would have been funny. Oh my god, there's fucking Christmas music playing right now. Fucking Silent Night and shit. I'm cool enough, but Rio's not? Okay, fair enough, Drew. Fair enough. <laughs> Dio, Hasuke. Yeah, I've only been attacked like four times, and there's rumors about concrete boots, which you know aren't very in fashion right now. So you know, all the better. Okay, is this dude actually just wa like doing a lap? I'm gonna regret following him, aren't I? I was kind of hoping he was gonna stop like in this area at a bar or something. Nah, he's just doing the rounds. He's Santa. He can't waste time. He's got to deliver gifts to all the, the bitches and hoes. You know what I'm saying? And there's only one kind of bitches and hoes that deserve this Santa's gift. The naughty ones. Aw, oh, yeah. Alright, I'm about sick of following your fat ass. I'm out of here. Wait, what happened to this guy? Are you alright there, buddy? Oh, he just chilling. I thought he was hurting. He just chilling. Taking a rest. <laughs> I love the drunk people wandering around. It's pretty funny. Look at the time. I really should go home early today. Early? It's already fucking like 1030, dude. I also did learn two new moves at the harbor. So give and take indeed. Give and take indeed. Yamanose, Yamanose. I didn't hear the cat, so oh well. Cat must be dead. Rip. It had a long week and a half long life. Rio Asuke. You are late. Inesan will not be pleased. All right, like I said, we'll do one more day, and I think that's what we're going to call it for today. Let's hope it's an eventful one. I keep having these dreams.